Hello, this is Retro Marky. I've missed you guys. Long time no talk to camera. So, um, just wanted to say uh, to my regular subscribers, uh, not so much the new ones, but um, yes, you probably noticed I'm now doing a Bioshock Esoteric Analysis series of videos. It is going to go on for a while. Apologies for that. But um, I am going to, I have been thinking about you, and um, I do have a few other videos to make in a more regular kind of shoddy style as I'm doing at the moment. So, for a little treat today, <clears throat> I've been uh, dicking around uh, configuring my RetroPie Zero as a Commodore 64. Now, um, it does take some work and some research and to get this working I've actually had to build a Linux Thin client to use while well, I'm using um, Linux Mint and using my PC and using the Pi Zero itself so it is a bit of a hassle but definitely worth it because I've now got it working with an Xbox 360 controller and um, so I just thought I'd give you a quick demonstration. It will run 64 DTV uh, supercharged. That's the 16 megahertz version. Oh no, it's not. Okay, we've got super CPU. Not sure what SC is then. Anyway, 128 uh, Vic 20 plus 4 PET and a couple of other sort of business PET type machines. Haven't tried most of them. In fact, I've only really tried the 64. Probably will at some point maybe make a video. But for now, I just wanted to show you that for what? I would say seven or eight pound for the Pi shipped. You need a micro SD. You might need a couple of little adapters because it's a, for example, HDMI micro, but you can get an adapter for a couple of quid. Probably no more than 15 quid to get this as it is. So before my camera runs out, let's um, show you this bad boy. So I'm gonna just boot it from scratch shouldn't really turn it on and off like this but just for video purposes uh, I didn't bring a keyboard downstairs because uh, can be asked basically so as you can see you get a black screen for a few seconds about 10 seconds um, whether that'll be changed in the future I don't know it would be nice to get a, some kind of splash screen here but it's not the end of the world and there we have it so it does work and even with a controller uh, you can access stuff and um, let's go to well it's got to be Wizball oh has it got to be Wizball ah I don't have what have I got um, I got yeah we'll load Wizball from the disc version to show you that for some reason I have problems getting the disc images working and some of the tap files work and some don't I don't know why um, so there is a bit, well there's actually quite a lot of trial and error but it is what it is and um, as far as I can see it is being worked on, it will be improved and as it is it's pretty workable. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is add Jiffy DOS of course to speed up this disk loading um, but other than that it's, yeah, I'm really happy with this. It's probably the cheapest way to play a C64, not the easiest. Um, in retrospect, probably the easiest is something like the C64 Mini, which you can normally get for about 50 quid if you hunt around eBay, maybe for someone who didn't want it. Uh, there's quite a few of those people. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I've got to say, I'm excited about the 64 not so mini machine coming out with the keyboard. I was tempted to pre order, but then I thought, nah, I want to see what it's like. It's probably basically a mini with a keyboard, inside a keyboard, but. We shall see, and here we go. You can change which SID chip to emulate as well. There's a, it's basically vice underneath. So anything, well, virtually anything vice can do, this can do as well. Oops, wrong button. Here we go. How freaking awesome is this? Really good as a sort of. I mean, what I might do is make a couple of these and um, sell a couple on eBay. 
Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, I've got a kind of... I'm not going to say competition, because apparently that causes problems. I don't know why. But, um, a giveaway. I'm going to put some questions on probably my next Bioshock video, related to the Bioshock series, and you can win limited edition Retro Marquee Bioshock special mug. No, you can't win it, that's a competition. And I can send you, if you get the answers right. So, stay tuned for that at some point. So you get the idea, all working nicely. Uh, let's just... Uh, so if we attach a cartridge... See what we got. I haven't put much on here yet. Super bread bin. One thing you do need to do is if you attach a cartridge image is um, you need to detach it afterwards. If you're going to load something else it won't automatically go on top. It's like a real cartridge. Um, that's, this is a hacked version but I do own the original cartridge and I recommend buying it. It's awesome. Um, if you don't have a 64 you could always um, either emulate that or you could, there's a PC version which I can't remember, I think this is based on the PC version. But uh, brilliant game. Game on then. Like most emulators, occasionally, especially with the 64, emulating the sound is tricky. You might get a slight bit of, I don't know what to call it, just tiny little things that are not quite right, but definitely not deal breakers. This is awesome, I can assure you this is playing exactly the same as on real hardware. Hard as nails this game. Okay, we're going to run out just about. So there we go. There we have it, guys. I shall leave it here. Uh, feel free to ask questions. Um, it's not the easiest thing to sort out this thing. And uh, as I said, uh, apologies, but I'm going to carry on with Bioshock. But I'm also going to try and do a few more of these because I have missed you guys. So there we go. I suppose just try.